Who would have thought that there were so many trees that can pose major risks to our health? From trees that contain poison in the fruit that they grow, to trees that contain poison in their sap, all the way to vines commonly found on trees that poison you just from brushing up against them. This list really contains a lot of poison. On today's most amazing top 10 list, we are going to be taking a look at some more trees that can be quite dangerous as we cover part two of the top 10 terrifying trees you should never touch. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the horse chestnut. This tree is not native to, but is usually found in the Pacific Northwest because of its beautiful flowers and the fact that it thrives in a more temperate climate. This tree is also massive and can sometimes be seen growing up to 128 feet in height. Aside from its huge presence, this one is easily recognizable because of those gorgeous flowers which are white with pink blotches at the base of them, as well as its unmistakable fruit which has a green spiky outer shell which surrounds a nut like seed. This little nut like seed is where we get into trouble however as this seed is extremely toxic to both humans and animals and the fresher the fruit the more potent the poison. There is extract from these seeds which once treated can be used in medical practices but when the seed is consumed raw it can cause things like nausea, vomiting, extreme thirst and in rare cases even paralysis or death. It's crazy to think that we can turn something so harmful into something helpful but hey, science is pretty cool. In our number 9 spot today, we have Yurtica ferox. This one is also called tree nettle, and it can be found only in New Zealand. This one is more of a shrub rather than a tree, but it's close enough, and its razor sharp looking stingers made it a necessity to have on this list today. They grow to be about 3 meters tall, and like I briefly just mentioned, they are covered in stinging nettle that's around 6 millimeters long. These stinging hairs are found on both the leaves themselves as well as the stems and stalks, so basically this entire entire plant is ready to dose you with its poison at any time. The toxin in this plant causes powerful stimulation of the parasympathetic nerve system and having multiple stings can cause an extreme reaction that involves inflammation, rash and itching, but more severe cases can cause loss of motor function, paralysis, a severe drop in blood pressure and blurred vision. There has even been a death recorded from contact with this tree nettle, so I think this is all safe to say that we should probably all collectively Stay away from this one. In our number 8 spot today, we have the rosary pea plant. This plant isn't actually a part of the tree, but it does grow around trees. So for your safety, we've got to talk about it. This plant is native to Asia and Australia and is best known for its seeds, which are the most dangerous part of it. The seeds have been used in both jewelry as well as percussion instruments, although not without extreme caution, as it is quite dangerous to do so. It is said that the workers who pierce the seeds in order to be able to thread them can suffer poisoning or even death from something as small as a pinprick, although it's not something that's been widely documented. A toxic dose to humans is apparently only 0.1 milligram for a 150 pound human, and symptoms include nausea, vomiting, convulsions, liver failure, and death, usually after several days. If the seeds are ingested while they are still intact, it is said that poisoning will not result because of the hard outer shell, but I am definitely not volunteering to test that theory. These seeds are also toxic to horses, so if you've got a horse, make sure you watch out. In our number 7 spot today we have wild cherry trees. This is one that I was a little surprised to find out is actually toxic. These guys are a little bit toxic throughout the entire tree other than the fruit when it's ripe. While only the most severe of cases result in death, any kind of poisoning is certainly inconvenient and would be great to stay away from. The seeds, leaves, and bark of this tree all contain cyanogenic glycosides, which usually results in things like anxiety, headache, vomiting, and dizziness. Despite this not being the worst case scenario or the most dangerous tree we've talked about, it still doesn't seem like a very fun time at all. The tree is recognizable by its bunches of white flowers and of course its fruit as well as its serrated leaves with small red glands at the end. It isn't exactly common for humans to just start chowing down on the bark of a cherry tree, so we're all most likely safe, but the same cannot be said for our pets and favorite animals, so make sure you keep an eye out. In our number 6 spot today we have poison oak. Okay, don't freak out at me for including another plant that often grows around trees, but I'm just here trying to help you not get poisoned. Poison oak is extremely common and can be found along many a hiking trail and is recognizable by its scalloped leaves which are grouped in threes on the branches. Usually during the springtime you can also find it sprouting some white flowers. The oil that is on the leaves and twigs is responsible for the poisoning and it is what causes the reaction. I didn't know this, but apparently there are some people that are just lucky enough to be immune to poison oak, but if you're 
you're not in the lucky few, then coming in contact with it will cause rashes, blistering, and swelling in the area that it touched. The oil can also get into clothing or your pet's fur, which can then later transfer it even further. This of course can cause many more difficulties and troubles. So while this one probably isn't going to kill you, which is always a good thing, it will most likely cause a ton of uncomfortability. In our number 5 spot today, we have the Syringa tree. These trees are most commonly grown in South Africa and Asia as ornamental plants as they are quite gorgeous, but they have proven to be quite a major problem for invading natural vegetation. These trees grow clusters of yellow berries, and like many of the other trees we've talked about, these berries are where the poison lies. Humans becoming poisoned by these trees is actually more common than you'd think. These berries are toxic to both humans and animals, so these trees are certainly not recommended for those who have pets, despite them being great at providing shade. The bark and leaves of this tree also contain the toxin that's in the berries, but just in a lesser quantity. If ingested, these berries will cause gastrointestinal issues, as well as muscle tremors, excitement followed by collapse and paralysis, and even seizures can occur. The good news is that there are treatments that can help with these effects, but the bad news is that death can occur if large quantities are consumed and not treated promptly enough. So while these trees certainly are nice to look at, maybe just from afar. In our number 4 spot today, we have the Tambodi tree. This tree is a widespread tree that is usually found along the east coast of South Africa, across the Kruger Park area, and into Zimbabwe. This tree usually grows to be around 10 meters in height and features small leaves with rough grey bark. These trees are actually a protected species because of the unsustainable overuse of their wood. This tree is a little different from the ones we've previously talked about today for two main reasons. One being that while it is poisonous to humans, it's not poisonous to animals, which is always a relief. And the second being, because it is not a seed, a nut, or a fruit that contains the poison of this tree, but rather a milky latex sap that the tree produces. Even something as simple as plucking at the leaves can cause the sap to be released, which will cause burning. The wood from this tree shouldn't be burned as the smoke will become poisonous, and if it were to get in your eye, it can cause temporary or even permanent eye damage. Inhaling the smoke or the sap can cause stomach issues as well. The sap has been used for years by indigenous tribes for many different things, so unless you're one of these people or one of the animals that feeds on this tree, it's probably best just to leave them alone. In our number 3 spot today, we have the candelabra tree. These trees are another tree that can be usually found in South Africa and Zimbabwe and are often seen either near rocky outcrops or near termite mounds. If the whole termite thing isn't enough to keep you away, maybe the rest of this description will. These guys get their nickname for exactly the reason you'd think, they really look like a candelabra. These trees are quite similar to the Tambodi tree, not in appearance, but in the fact that the poison is found in their highly irritating white sap. This sap is irritating to both the skin and the eyes and it can cause burns, permanent blindness, and if ingested, severe abdominal pain and vomiting. It is recommended that if you must prune one of these trees to wear both eye protection and gloves, and also to not use a chainsaw, which I feel like should be obvious, but I'll say it just in case it isn't. Better yet, maybe just leave the pruning of these trees up to the professionals. In our number 2 spot today, we have the common poison bush. This is one I had to use the nickname for because I simply have zero idea how to pronounce its scientific name. This tree grows around 5 meters in height and can be found in various places, but is mostly found in South and Central Africa and usually around termite mounds. The flowers this tree produces are white and pink and actually smell pretty nice, but don't let this fool you. All parts of this tree are poisonous and contain toxins that are strong enough to kill humans. It is not recommended to even camp near this tree and definitely do not use use its wood for cooking, as whatever comes in contact with the smoke will also end up being toxic. This tree has been used to create arrow poison, and while the fruit that the tree produces can be eaten when ripe, the unripened fruits have commonly caused accidental poisoning. In our number 1 spot today, we have angel's trumpets. These small trees get their name from the flowers they produce, which make it look like a warm and inviting tree, but that is not the case. These trees are among the most toxic of all ornamental plants, which is not something that should be taken lightly. All parts of this plant are poisonous, but the seeds and leaves are definitely the most dangerous part. This plant contains quite a few tropane alkaloids, and the ingestion of them can create several terrible symptoms. These would include paralysis of smooth muscles, confusion, tachycardia, dry mouth, diarrhea, migraines, visual and auditory hallucinations, unusual dilation of the pupils, rapid onset paralysis of an eye muscle, and then of course, we also have death. Ingesting this plant plant can induce an extremely powerful trance and people are completely unaware of their hallucinations.
hallucinations and unable to tell what's reality and what's not. Some people do choose to use this toxicity for fun, but I cannot say I understand why, as the hallucinogenic effects of this plant have been described as terrifying rather than pleasurable. <laughs> Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye! A severe drop in blood pressure. Okay, let's try that again. The seeds, leaves, and bark of this tree all contain cy cyanogenic glycosides. Whoa, why did I do that? In our number five spot today, we have the syring syringa tree. Syringa. <laughs> syringa? How would you say that, Chris? Syringa? Syringa? We're going for it.